It's an absolutely lovely stadium we have here spread out both of the two sides would enjoy themselves thoroughly and hope also to go home with three points at stake. Quara United Youth FC. My name is Bowie, Bowie Atana, and of course, shirt. And now it's all systems go. So these are two sides who know how to move the ball around. And there's a resurgent Quara United we're seeing here coming close, but uh, good defending that time. They pass just a tight too much for Barnabas Imenga to latch onto. But that's perhaps an announcement of intent very early on in the game. The young man has four goals to his credit, a uh, uh, product of the Quara Football Academy. And uh, it's been fantastic since joining the big boys, Quara United. Well, this was always going to be an interesting uh, fixture because... Uh, uh, like a pendulum, he's been swinging this way and then that. But you must admit that Quara United have looked the most sprightly of the two sides. Beautiful football. And oh, well, just a little long. That was... Good moves there from Barnabas Imenga. He wants the return, but it didn't get to him. Stands up, but uh, they are coming off it. Right now, they are there, 17th and 18th. <laughs> All right, Juth is now at 19th. I mean, Martins. Ball is given away. And it's dangerous, but unfortunately, Kabir Sanusi was in the offside position. He should have been watching the limit. And you could see the opportunity that came back in for Juth. They simply let it go. And it's at the other end now, end-to-end -end stuff we're seeing here. And Imenga, that one is over the bar. Barnabas Imenga. And, well, what some... Well, it's turning into some kind of frenetic action here. Arrowness of the angle there. And did not attempt anything. Good football from Imenga. Quara United, look at... And you can see the dominance of Juth in the last five minutes. And oh, but a close one, a penalty I'm sure he was begging for, and it wasn't forthcoming. But it is 33%, 67 uh, to the but general possession overall. It's still Juth shaving possession. And uh, well, that's a little bit surprising because uh, it looked more like 50 50 to me, if anything. But the player is down on the far side there. Down it did, and uh, it is uh, Barnabas Imenga. Who was a show of the side that time, but then Kabiru Sonuzi couldn't stop the ball well, but he still ends up with the ball. It's a good opportunity now. Benabasi Menga, he pushes the ball wide and an opportunity to strike from there. It, oh, well, he's wasted too much time in the end and just got the shot. Nothing came out of that one. Actually, that time it was uh, Antonio Kemiri, but uh, we can forgive him. And that should be a goal. It is a goal. Easy as you like. Very gently done. Wonderful pull out easily easily tucked into the net but that required a cool head as well absolutely nothing nothing at all that Nura Mohammed could do about that and fantastic goal here there is nothing you can take away from that. Panabes Menga was simply fantastic, but this man, Okemiri, was the man that hooked that cross along. And the easiest of goals, and I'm sure it would have been the easiest of the four goals he scored earlier. His goal number five here today. Got goals uh, elsewhere, but uh, here at uh, Quara Stadium, it's still goalless. Well, it's no longer goalless because Quara United that won't go up. So we're almost going to make it too rough. <laughs> And again, it's that dangerous man, Banabasi Menga, who was looking for uh, his press in this game. It just wasn't coming. A certain Okeo Dita is there to stand between them. In Mina, we hear that uh, Niger Tornadoes are two goals up against Ocean Boys. And the crunchy tackle there. I think the referee was almost reaching for his card. Uh, changed his, uh, his mind uh, just at the last moment. Otherwise, it would have been a second booking for Juth football club 
Another look at that, a lit tackle, lit, lit tackle, and a long stretch of the leg, Uchiabo bringing down his man. Confirmation that... Meanwhile, that player is still down. Banasi Mengas, Banabasi Mengas, caught out of the only goal of this game so rolling the ball around, playing for time. I'm sure they want to see out this first half. Adi Menga, back already in action. He's turned out. Oh, what a miss that was. Great football from Banabasi Menga. And somehow, you can see Kabir Sanusi simply cannot get himself to. And for some reason, he wasn't able to keep. Look at that cross again. Splendid. And when he, as Danjuma Abdullah, he just came in. That was uh, the final. Set to right here. Imenga is off again. Ah, uh, it's difficult to push off the ball. But I'm asking Menga is the goal, uh, the easiest of goals uh, from the man. His fifth goal of the season. It was a good work from Antonio Kemiri. And a great goal indeed. But his day is made here. Yeah, Since they said it, it's been hard But never mind the night you had to cry Cause you had never let me go inside You worked real hard And you know exactly what you want and need So believe And you can never give up You can reach your goals Just talk to your soul and say Today is week 12 in the Nigerian Premier League. It promises all sorts of possibilities. And uh, Ralph, really, you can't wait to have this and, one. Uh, if you look at the past seven years, uh, when the two teams, they've met six times. And in the league, of course, and three SC has won three times. Rivals, uh, meaning uh, the other team from Quara State, Bukola Babes, who are having their first taste of action in the Premiership. There's all to fight for between these two sides. And I won't expect that um, it will be quite, quite, quite interesting. The pre-match formalities, uh, and believe it or not, the reserve referee is also a teacher. Alaba Abeka, not too uh, good in terms of attendance. And there we go. It's off on the way. And it is the visiting side, shooting stars, taking the kickoff and going straight. The stars also have a tested coach, one-time assistant coach of the Super Eagles of Nigeria, Fatai Amao, as uh, they are... It's Kwara United. 
Macquarie United trying to. You know, today he is starting for. And an opportunity there. And that should. Oh, good goalkeeping. But again, I think that that cross could have been better. Interesting if you were to take the throw in and um, the younger brother scored because um, <laughs> that would be a goal made at Okemiri. Uh, if, uh, if you permit me that uh, license but well specifically uh, spectacular just yet except for that uh, goal in the right direction and a goal kick will come out of that but it's quite united who are on the front foot now putting the ball away for a throw in to shooting stars of shooting stars and Jada, former player of uh, FC, oh, and the cross into the box is expected. That comes, and the header just barely missing. That was close, and I think Sibiguar must have fancied his chances there. He thought he was going to get his head to it, and uh, eventually he was not able to, uh, saving the goalkeeper's blushes there. And if the goal was called, uh, you must credit it. Uh, I give a lot of credit to Benga Arokoyo, who made that solo effort right from defense, you know, up to the heart of uh, Shooting Stars. Uh, uh, on For Quara United now. And the Philemon Daniel giving that pass. Oh, some bit of skills there by Banabas Menga. Eventually, he lets the ball go. Imenga has been in the thick of action as an attacking option. Philemon shooting stars that take over now. Poor pass in the end to Imenga. Tala again giving it to Okemiri. Okemiri with a good opportunity to send the ball across and the header bringing it back. And that should be a goal. That is the fair executed. Fantastic goal. Excellent build up. And the fit. Zavadley indeed. It was a fantastic effort. And it's a goal that has come from Kabiru Sanusi. And it won. We must give credit to Quara United for the combination that has given them this goal. And due credit to Antonio Kenmiri for that that exquisite, that delicious cross uh, from the right. And the ball just floated in the header, brought it down. But uh, to the left fullback position and playing from there. And I'm surprised at the change and, of course, uh, what is coming from Shirin Star's bench. That's the advantage that comes uh, in having utility players. And the medics are also in to take a look at the player. On one side, and uh, we'll see what include what his inclusion will bring into this game for Shooting Stars Sports Club. Shola the boy going in for Nafu Taiwo uh, for Shooting Stars. Moritela now held as well, but I'm sure that the man has a heart of steel. <laughs>